Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Upkick MMA episode 270. I am Brendan. All right, one Friday night fights, or Friday fights, whatever they call them, Friday fights 18. All right, we're going to talk about Harrison versus Pong Seri, and we're going to talk about the rest of the fights on here. We're going to break them all down round by round. This is a lot of Muay Thai. This is not my specialty. Like, I don't usually break down just Muay Thai fights, but that's the event that happened. Uh, we're going to talk about that real quick before we get started. If you like this kind of stuff, you like MMA, you like fight breakdowns, you like Muay Thai, apparently. Uh, if you like 1FC, UFC, that kind of stuff, I break all that stuff down here. So if you subscribe to the channel, you know the next video is coming out. I'd really appreciate it. Sweet. Let's get it started. Tyson Harrison taking on Pong Sari. Now, uh, <clears throat> Pong Sari gets the, uh, the win here. You know, <sighs> there was a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, jockeying for position. There was a lot of uh, good shots landed back and forth, but there wasn't a definitive moment. I would say this is Pong Sari landing some really good. Uh, he started the combo with the shots, shot to the body, and then coming back upstairs to finish it off. I, it's not that this fight wasn't bad, right? It wasn't boring by any means, but there. I don't know if this is one of the ones, because some of the fights, they were interesting regardless, but it felt like this might have been one where if you're a, a real lover of Muay Thai and all the intricacies, similar to boxing, right? Just because you have seen a boxing match doesn't make you, mean you understand everything that's going on, but you know, a boxing expert or somebody who's been training in it for a very long time, they'll notice like, oh, look at his footwork and the look of the way he's moving is, oh, he's dipping his right shoulder down to bait him in for this. Like there's a lot of intricacies and in all the little movements and maybe I'm missing some of that, some, some of that stuff. And this was a much higher level of Muay Thai event. So I'm not, I'm not seeing, uh, not seeing all those things. But, you know, Harrison was using his reach to land long hooks, but he was wading in too much, and uh, Ponksbury was landing good damage when they got into that range. Uh, Harrison was using his hands really well, sticking to the body kicks, but both guys they ends up landing uppercuts. Really, the story was Ponksbury is just constant pressure. He just kept moving forward, smothering Harrison, not letting him use his range. And Ponksbury didn't, I didn't feel like he landed anything really damaging, but Harrison didn't either. Right, neither guy landed anything so significant that made me re like it put a stamp on each round. So I gave this first round uh, ten nine to Pongsuri. Uh, I guess you could give it to Harrison. Uh, second round here, Pongsuri landing a couple hooks inside. Harrison slowing down a little bit here. This was his worst round by far. Both guys were staying in the pocket and trading. Harrison with two really hard elbows, and he landed a right hand at one point. I don't know, uh, Pongsuri. You know, he again wasn't landing anything super damaging all at once but he just landed non-stop and he was constantly pressuring so I gave him that round two I had a 20 to 18 for Pong Sri. last round here uh the one two was landing from Harrison regularly in this round Pong Sri was moving forward <clears throat> throwing elbows most of them were being blocked you know Pong Sri, uh best success is coming from the body shots he landed some of those this round I didn't see something so you know one-sided in this that like oh he's just Pong Sri's just walking away with it it he, it it looks like he went in there and did his job. I guess, he, you know, again, you can give it 30-27, but it's really just a volume thing. And I th I think part of the the lack of uh, understanding is on my part, right? This is not my not my forte. It's not something I watch nonstop, and I guess I, I just don't understand the intricacies. It's fun to watch. <clears throat> Samingwam, Samingwam versus uh, Mahong, Mohamong. Cole. Man, some of these names, if I butcher them, I, I really, I apologize. I do not mean any offense. Uh, Samingam was uh, landing some hard low kicks and a hard kick to the body early. Uh, <clears throat> Samingam ends up getting the, uh, the win uh, via unanimous decision. It was this this fight was uh, fun to watch as well. Uh, there was one moment at the end of this first round. So Samingam uh, was landing uh, hard low kicks and a hard body a hard body kick he <clears throat> hard right he uh, head kick from uh Samingnam. it rocked Muhammad uh Muhammad call and he just kept but he just kept pushing forward and which which was weird was Muhammad Cole he was he was like unfazed by any of this stuff and he would just try to walk him down but the problem was uh Samingnam just kept landing damage and like a lot of the guys they would get broken in this it's just that it, that's not what happened here uh th this this round 
ends with something that I'm pushing him down that rounds coming to an end. And then he runs across the cage right before it, or right, uh, the, uh, the ring and he right before the round ends, just yeah, kicks him in the, right in the face. <laughs> so it wasn't after the bell. It was right at the bell. It was just interesting to see him just sprint across, kick him in the face. Um, the flying front kick. Uh, that's a 10, nine for, uh, something Nam for sure. Uh, not a lot of clinch. There was a ton of clinching in the second round, and every time they separated, something Nam, uh, he landed a couple shots, and then they end up tying up again. It's not the most entertaining round, but I gave it to something Nam twenty to. Uh, I had him up twenty to eighteen. Something Nam staying in his face, pressuring, landing with the lead in elbow, the one two, and then they tie back up. It happened over and over again. Uh, Muhammad Nol is a uh, he. He's just standing around at the end of this. I don't know if he was tired. I had a 30-27 for Sun Ming Nam, and that's, I mean, he did get the uh, unanimous decision. Again, this one was a lot of tying up, right? So there was a lot of clinching, and it wasn't the same kind of clinching that you see in MMA, right? This is in the middle, and it's a clinch, and then a separate. So it's closer to boxing, but you're allowed to work a little bit in the clinch until your bodies touch each other, and then you're not allowed to work any further. It's one of those things where, Again, maybe I don't have an appreciation for it, but it felt like there, I was missing something. Like, this isn't as interesting as I, I guess it could be. Uh, T.I. versus uh, Saklek. It's also interesting that the Thai names, like, they only have one name. That's kind of interesting. Uh, T.I., versus uh Saklek. This fight was really cool. <laughs> there was also there was so many finishes. And in this one, so T.I. was sitting down on his punches really well, landing some hard, really hard low kicks. Uh, Saklik landed a uh, right hand mid combo. T.I. throwing right back at him. And then T.I. using the stiff jab and he put Saklik down. And then they started, they stayed in toe to toe trading one, two combos, just nonstop slamming each other in the face. Uh, it was a fun round to watch. I collect doing a great job after the knockdown, but it still had to be a 10-8 for T.I. And that's because he got the knockdown and he kept up with him in the damage. It's not like it was one-sided after the knockdown coming back at him. He did plenty, T.I. did, uh, to keep it in his favor, so I gave it to him 10-8. Second round here, T.I. landing those hard low kicks. <clears throat> Cyclic just staying in his face. Cyclic gets the knockdown uh, of his own with a body shot, which was beautiful. Cyclic digs to the body. <clears throat> T.I. has to drop down. And then holy, then this happens. This is nuts. Bam! Unbelievable, unbelievable. Just straight out. <clears throat> it's after he had been knocked down that round. Incredible. Uh, it's you know, I'm really happy for for him because he was dominating, and you know, it looked like it could have gone. Uh, it could have gone the other direction. It started, the tide started to change and he's like, nah, you know what? I'm just going to knock you out with a flying knee. Incredible. Fun stuff. Like these kinds of fights, like I was having a blast watching this. All right. Sansari versus Rit. <clears throat> well, you got one name. What do you think you are? Cher or Sting? <laughs> uh, they exchange leg kicks. Um, they look they look about the same power, right? So both guys, both Sansari and Rit are both landing with the same kind of power with each other. Uh, Rit with the straighter punches. He was landing better punches, and that's kind of, you know, that made the difference in the end. Rit landed a right hook that wobbled Sansari just a bit. Sansari goes uh, goes ham at the end of the round. I don't know if they all landed, but I think I gave an I gave Rit that first round because, or Sansari, sorry, because he landed some in that last barrage and he pushed enough forward and he didn't get so damaged that it took, uh, uh, it gave the round to Rit. So I gave it to uh, Sansari, 10 9. And then the second second round, no judge scorecards needed. Bang with that left hand. Boom. Sansari goes down. Rit just takes him out, man. Beautiful left hand. Again, another blast to watch. Incredible. Incredible. So much fun. I These were moving at a clip, too. Like th These fights were three rounds, three minutes apiece. They're just flying through these fights. Uh, incredible pace. Not, not, not worried about commercial breaks or anything like that. Uh, I hope these fighters are making a decent amount of money uh, to do this stuff. Uh, Chatanan versus uh, Super Chilek. <clears throat> this fight was... Uh, I don't remember... I don't remember this one as much. Chatanan versus uh, Super Chilek. 
Let's see here. Uh, Chatanan was landing the right over, uh, right hand over the top. Super Chilek la uh, lands whenever he enters with the kicks, and then Chatanan retaliates with two or three shots. Oh, I do remember this one. Okay, Chatanan landed, uh, landing the bigger shots and getting, and he's making Super Chilek pay every time he enters. So I gave it to him for uh, ten nine. Chatanan did. Uh, he got that for me in that first round. Super Chilek landing a hard left hook put Chatanan down. It counted for a knockdown. Uh, then <clears throat> Chatanan. Uh, Chatanan uh, was pressuring even more after he got the count, looking uh, to get the damage back. Then Chatanan lands a left hand, a beautiful right that drops Super Chilek, and then Ch Chatanan lands another huge shot, and the ref waves it off. Uh, beautiful shot. Again, another one where it was like a bit of a comeback because he gets dropped, and then he comes back, and then he, st he gets the stoppage on his own. Bam. Yep, that's all it took right there. That left hand. Those legs went wobbly, and the referee calls it. Beautiful. Really fun stuff. <clears throat> if you guys don't watch uh, <clears throat> 1FC or Muay Thai in general, you know, it's it's like MMA. Some of the fights are kind of boring. Some of them are a blast. I had a blast watching this stuff. Putin on come versus uh, Petkrit Sada. Another KO. Oh, we'll talk about this one. This wasn't very. This one wasn't very long. Uh, Putin come uh, was the aggressor moving forward, landing hard kicks to the body, then up top, and then holy shit, Putin come landed a hard right hand and it ended it. Just pop right there, all over with. <clears throat> yep. His eyes roll back and they're looking around. He doesn't know where he is. He's dazed. <clears throat> Beautiful fight. Fun to watch. Uh, Muhammad Butasa versus Muhammad uh, Sia Sarani or Sia Sarani. This this had the makings of something really cool if it had a finish, but I mean it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. Let's put it that way. Uh, Sia Sarani ends up getting the uh, decision win here. Sia Sarani uh, countering every time that Butasa entered. Butasa throwing a lot out there. He's just not getting his guard back up. Left hand from Sia Sarani lands hard. The damage seemed to go all one way that round. Sia Sarani taking that round for me. 10-9. Second round here. Sia Sarani catching Butasa with a right hand every time he entered, snapping his head back. Then he lands one <clears throat> and puts Butasa down. I don't know if this is that highlight. Oh, yeah, and then at one point, so Sai Sarani leaves his hands down, tells Butasa to just throw at him. He takes a, f a few shots to the head and nothing. He just laughs at it. Uh, incredible. I mean, I, I'm never a fan when a guy does that and just puts his um, puts his chin out there. Butasa finding some good shots, but anytime he enters, the hands from Sai Sarani lands so freaking hard. So uh, I, because he got a 10-8 that round, I gave it. Tw I had it 20 to 17 in favor of Sai Sarani. Last round here. Uh, Sai Sarani is keeping his hands down, just taking the shots to the face and the aggression this round, and with the volume uh, with the kicks go to Batasa. But I still had him losing 29 to 27, and he loses a unanimous decision. <clears throat> yeah, he gets right back up after he trips, and then he just starts. Good again, another fun one to watch. I don't feel like I needed an advanced degree to see wow, what was going on there. Some of the stuff is very fun. Victor Hugo versus uh, Shana John or Chana John. Sorry, uh, Hugo with the hard left hand to start. Chana John landing a decent low kick. Hugo lands one right back at him. Great lead left hook from Hugo. Uh, the round was close. Uh, China John might have landed more volume to the body and the legs, but Hugo landed more damage, I felt. So I gave him that first round 10-9. China John was in his face, pressuring forward uh, to start and throwing volume out there, landing really well to the body and the legs. China John taking that round with the pressure and the volume. I had it tied going into the third, 19-19. Hugo's much better in the boxing range, landing the left hooks and the straight right hand. They are so freaking crisp. Both guys landed the right hand, and I don't think China John landed the cleanest shots, but he landed so much more, so I gave it to him uh, 29 to uh, 28. Yeah, like I said, I don't I don't feel like uh, China John did anything so significant that round that, you know, blasted him out of the water, but, you know, it's one of those things where he just... 
he just kept his volume up and he was able to get the uh, get the victory in my opinion. And all three judges did too. Uh, all right, Smila Sundell versus uh, Milana Belogrelich. Belogrelich, yes. Uh, Sundell getting the win here via unanimous decision. Let's talk about each round. This fight, this fight was actually pretty fun. Uh, <clears throat> Sundell has uh, the, the, some cleaner shots. They're both staying in the middle, swinging away. I do recommend going back and watching this event. By the, uh, I really do. There, it was. It'll keep your attention. If not, just put on the background. Just wait till the crowd gets loud and then go and check it out. <clears throat> nice kick to the body from Sundell and a huge left hand that fell, followed. Left hook from Sundell uh, is there at the end of every single combo. She's landing to the body and up top. Uh, for sure, Sundell's round. There was a ton of volume both ways, but Sundell landing the cleaner shots. 10-9. Uh, nice head kick from Sundell. Bella Grelich just eats it and walks forward. Bella Grelich having some success with the kicks. They're cleaner than her punches for sure. So her punches, they're kind of wingy and they weren't as clean. We might be able to see it here in the replay, but this just wasn't as nice as uh, Sundell's were. And the volume is just nuts, and the power shot's still coming from Sundell. Sundell's landing really clean shots. Bella Grelich just eating them. 20 to 18 for Sundell. Again, the volume. I'd like to see the numbers on this one. It's got to be well into the hundreds from each uh, each fighter here. Sundell's just nonstop with the strikes. Bella Grelich finally looks tired as Sundell drives forward, but she's still throwing back at her. Um, it, 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 again, so much freaking action in here. This was the entire fight, by the way. I don't think there was a significant amount of time in which there weren't strikes being thrown. I mean that. I'm pretty sure at any second of this fight, you can watch it, and there are strikes being thrown in it. There wasn't a ton of clinching. There wasn't a ton of waiting around. It was just this, nonstop. Tons of action. Really fun to watch. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Ty versus Johan, or is it Johan? Ghazali. He's got two names, so I know he's not Ty. Uh, Ghazali rushes across the ring, uh, throwing... Throwing to end the night right away. Uh, Ghazali was landing some really good low kicks and a couple hard hooks. Ty was going straight at the legs. Ghazali was digging to the body with the hooks. Ty swinging right back at him. Ghazali looks like he landed more that round. It was some fun stuff. 10-9 uh, for him. Ghazali right back in his face. Ty countering really well. Uh, Ghazali kicked the legs out of Ty like three times in this fight. Uh, Ghazali nonstop right in his face. Uh, and then finally, Ty started to look a little bit tired here in the end of the second round. Ty had a good start to the round, but he faded down the stretch, 20 to 18 in favor of Ghazali. Last round here, Ty's taunting him with his tongue out, sticking him, doing the the rod tang, the this thing where he, eh, like, and he did it to him multiple times, and then Ghazali lands a right hand and puts Ty out. So, anytime you taunt, you get knocked out. Uh, you deserve it. <laughs> This is after he had just been talking, you know, making faces at him like he's going to sit there and do the rod tang and just take shots to the face. Oh, there's more highlights from this one. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, he did take some kicks to the head. Just kept throwing back at him. Yeah, like I said, Ty was... Going, both guys were just throwing to end the night with every single shot. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, hey. There was uh, some MMA to start the night. But it wasn't... Uh, I think they, this is like a feeder thing for the one for 1FC. One Andre uh, Chelbaev versus uh, Monthan Rane. Uh, Monthan Rane, you know, he's just, he did all right. He landed some shots when he could. It's just, he didn't, neither one of these guys, you know, really showed out like they were, they're ready for the next, the step up in competition. Uh, Chelbaev landed a left hook, rocking Rane in the first round. Um, I don't know if that's this highlight. Yep, that's this one. Rocked him pretty good. Bam, right over the top. Uh, Chelbaev was landing a hard, hard with the hook and the low kicks and just walking him down. 
Ron A was getting the the takedown with like he got the takedown with 30 seconds left. It just didn't, he didn't do anything with it. Chavayev, um, I had him out in front after round one. Remember in one FC they don't round, they don't uh, score it round by round. Fight such as a whole. So Chavayev was out in front after the first round. They're trading in the se- in the second round here. Chavayev pressuring. Chavayev landing some big shots, and then. Uh, Chelby have landed the hard shots, and I just had him way out in front after the second round. So, Rane finally landing some with some force and, uh, with the right hand, but Chelby still uh, still landing with hard shots and vol- a volume. He gets the decision, rightfully so. Was not the most interesting fight. Um, you do not have to go back and watch that one. It wasn't bad. If you're gonna watch the whole event, and be a completist uh, completionist. I don't, I don't I didn't hate it, but not the most interesting. Richard Godoy versus Ali uh, Kabdula. Uh, Godoy looking to kick the legs. Godoy throwing hard leg kick, or hard kicks to the legs and then up top to the body. Uh, Kabdula was pressuring, using the jab to corner Godoy, but Godoy kicks his way out of there. Uh, Kabdula was on top, landing damage for like 90 seconds. I don't know if that was quite enough to put him out in front. I had, I, I kind of had it even after this first round, so I, you know, it was just that first round's a wash to me. Godoy now landing some good punches with those kick, uh, with the kicks that he was landing. Godoy landing with some hard looping hooks. A right hand rock Kabdula uh, just a bit. Godoy looking tired. Kabdula landing the front kick to the body, poking and wearing on Godoy. Kabdula catches the kick again um, and gets the takedown for the last thirty seconds. He's on top. I, you know, he probably pulled ahead because of that in the last round here. Godoy landing a couple hard right hands. Kabdula just keeps uh, landing that front kick to the body. Kabdula landing a front kick to the face and rocking Godoy. Uh, he lands some good shots and uh, pushes Godoy down, and the ref calls it. So, uh, yeah. So he lands that, and then you know Godoy says he's still there and he's putting his finger up. I don't, I don't have a problem with the stoppage. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but dude, honestly. I didn't hate this. I liked watching. I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to catch every single one of these because I have a tent, dude, I don't know what it is. I can't watch fights anymore without taking notes. So if I could somehow manage to just watch these and not take notes, maybe I'll watch them more often. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it Uh, because I do like watching them. I think they're fun, but if there's two other MMA events in the weekend, if we got a Bellator, or a UFC, or a PFL, or you know a PFL, a Bellator, and a UFC, or the double Bellator weekends, I'm probably not going to be able to watch these. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I'll try and throw them on. Maybe I'll wait till the next week, you know, during the week, and throw them on because then I'm not. I don't feel pressured to to cover them. Uh, but I had a blast watching them. So if you guys didn't, I would go back and watch them. They're they're fun to watch. If you like Muay Thai, I think it was a blast. Uh, that's it. If you guys like this kind of stuff, if you guys like this, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. See so the next video is coming out. If you like the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. That means a lot to me too. Um, and yeah, you know what? Uh, happy Memorial Day. Thank you all for spending your time with me. Uh, hope you guys have an amazing week. Love y'all.